Hey everyone, this is Steven, AKA Teros from Bankroll Builders Fantasy Sports at bankrollbuildersfantasy.com. I'm here to bring you our Thanksgiving edition of core picks for Thrive Fantasy Contests, traditional style of gameplay. If you are not familiar with Thrive Fantasy, check out our article on the introduction to Thrive Fantasy that I will post down below. It tells you a little bit of how Thrive Fantasy has combined prop picks, sports betting, and DFS all into one. This week, I'm going to jump straight into the core picks. First, if you will like this video, if you will comment down below your favorite picks, and if you will subscribe to our channel, it saves us and helps us a lot. It takes about 10 seconds for you, but means the world to us. So without further ado, we're jumping straight in with TJ Hawkinson choosing the over on his three and a half catch prop for 80 points on Thrive Fantasy. You'll notice that I favor history and I favor consistency. That is a big factor for me in choosing a core pick. Now understand my other picks, I may take into consideration the matchup. I may take into consider some other factors, things like David Montgomery is back from injury. He had a, a fairly poor first week back. Now he's had some time to get some practice in, get more comfortable. I think he'll do pretty well today, but his history and consistency is not there. So he's not a core pick. So TJ Hawkinson does have that consistency. Out of the last five weeks, he has gone over three and a half catches in four of those weeks. The one that he missed, he had a goose egg. I would have to go back. I'm not sure why he had a goose egg on that week. But regardless, the other four weeks that he played, he went over three and a half catches. So he is getting the targets that he needs. He just needs to produce on it. And I think he can still do that against the Chicago Bears today. We are going to take TJ Hawkinson for 80 points, choosing the over on his three and a half catch prop. Next up, we're going to go with Derek Carr on his 0.5 interceptions prop. We're going to choose the over for 75 points. Again, we're going to favor the history and the consistency on this. In the last five games, he has had an interception or two interceptions in four of the last five games. It's actually four out of four if you exclude the fifth furthest back or yeah, fifth furthest back uh, game because he didn't have an interception in that one, but four for four out of the last four weeks. And he is playing Trayvon Diggs this week. Trayvon Diggs is fantastic. He is one of the top cornerbacks out there this year. He has been producing an interception consistently. Uh, I have not gone back in to see if it's four out of five or five out of five, but every time I seem to watch the Dallas Cowboys, I see a Diggs interception usually in the end zone to be brought back out so that Dallas can go back down the field. So I'm going to favor the over for Derek Carr. I think he's going to throw an interception to Diggs this week, uh, just like the last four out of four games for him. And I'm going to take that 75 points for a core pick. On the flip side, we've got Darren Waller on his team that we're going to choose the under on touchdowns. Now, again, history, consistency. And the history here is that he has zero touchdowns out of the last five weeks. Yes, he is making catches. Yes, he is producing yardage. But no, he is not getting touchdowns. For some reason, he can't seem to get into the end zone. I'm going to favor that he's probably going to have a similar issue this week. So I'm going to take the under on Darren Waller. We're going to get 90 points for that core pick and we're going to move on. Our last core pick for today is going to be Zach Moss for 95 points. Now you may be saying, wait a second, is Zach Moss even the starter? No, he's not the starter. He is not even really second string at this point based on how Matt Breda was the most used running back last week, getting five attempts. Both Zach Moss and Devin Singletary 
both had three attempts. They're also playing the New Orleans Saints, who are the number one against running backs this season. So I don't see how Zach Moss is going to get 40.5 rushing yards. I don't even know if Matt Breida is going to do it. I don't even know if Devin Singletary is going to do it. Maybe combined, the three of them can get to 100 yards, but I think you split that up evenly, none of them get to 40. And if someone does, I think it's probably going to be Matt Breida this week. Just a little hint on how I'm going to be doing my DFS lineups. I think that might be an interesting play for, you know, 5% of my lineups. But anyways, Zach Moss, I have to favor the consistency consistently zero out of five weeks he has gone over 40.5 rushing yards his average for the season right now is 29.4 yards everything is pointing to the under so I am not sure why Thrive Fantasy thinks that 95 points is what this should be it should really be 75 points or 65 points however I'll take it I'll take the points that they're going to give me. Give me that 95 points for my core picks. I'll go out there and pick up a couple extra people and try and get into the cash line, make a little bit of money today. And hopefully, if you've seen it, I hope you did. Uh, You may not have seen it, so I'll tell you now. I got my second check from Thrive Fantasy for the Uh, competitions that I've been playing. I've not gotten any kind of check for any affiliate links or anything like that, but I have won consistently on Thrive Fantasy enough to the point that I am now, quote, playing with house money. All of the money I actually put into Thrive Fantasy is back into my pocket. So now it is all profit that I am playing with. So I'm telling you, use our process, follow along with us, It will help you tremendously, and I am expecting that in the near future, you'll send me a screenshot of you getting a check in your mailbox. Also, I understand that there's the rumor out there that they're difficult to get cash out of. I have not had any issue in the the last two times that I've chosen to withdraw from them, and I've been told by their team that they are also working on trying to get withdraws done through PayPal so that you can get the money a little bit faster. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a happy Thanksgiving. Again, please like the video, comment your favorite core pick this week, and subscribe to the channel to make sure you don't miss the content later this weekend for our Sunday edition. Thank you very much. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye-bye.